Here with head coach Bridget Orchard, coach of the year in the A-10 here ahead of the A-10 championships at George Mason. First up, coach, congratulations Thank on coach you. of the year. Thank you. Um, before we talk about the tournament, let's talk about how you got here, including a big weekend at LaSalle. You knew even if you swept, you're going to need a little bit of help, but just what did you see from the team down at LaSalle and how important was it to to get a clean sweep heading into conference play here? I think that's big. Obviously for momentum, I think it's a big part of this game and getting on getting on a good winning streak and hitting the ball and pitching well. So I think LaSalle games were big for us just to, everything kind of went well. We played good defense, you know, we pitched well, we hit well. So I think that was huge and obviously, you know, controlling our own destiny was big too. You find yourself as the top seed, uh, yet again, familiar place, but always puts the target right back on your back um, again. What's, what's your mentality and the team's mentality knowing that you know, you're going to get everyone's best out here and uh, everyone's going to want to come and knock you off? I think the biggest thing is we just keep talking about one game at a time, one inning at a time, one pitch at a time. So try not to look too far ahead of ourselves. Obviously our goals, we have bigger goals, but at the same time we want to go one game at a time and really kind of focus on ourselves and not really worry about who we're playing and what they're doing, but kind of what we can do within ourselves as far as hitting, pitching, and just executing. And hopefully if we play well, we can win. You have 12 all-conference uh, selections this year. It's a huge number. Just what does that say about the strength of this team and really the depth overall to, to have that many people uh, recognized by the A-10? Well, I think it's big. I think it's great just to get the, you know, the girls get some recognition, get some honors, and I think that they, you know, they're really proud of that. But they know, obviously, it's a team, team effort. So obviously, without the wins, we're not going to get the recognition. So I think they know that their personal confidence are huge, but I think the wins are what really brought us together. So it's kind of a team award. And you mentioned one game at a time. That first game's on Thursday at noon either going to be Dayton or St. Louis. Now you're going to get to watch them uh, later today. What, do you, what are your thoughts on, on either of those teams and, and who you could potentially face in this first round? Well, it's interesting because we haven't played St. Louis. They were our bye this year, so we didn't play St. Louis. We haven't seen them this year, although they have a lot of returning players. So the girls we have seen in the past, just not this year. I see Dayton, we came off a three-game series just a week ago or so. And it was all three tight games, so that's always a good game with them. The last question, I know you want to take it one at a time, but what would it mean to raise that trophy one more time? I, mean, I think it'd be huge for us. You know, our goals, we, we really want to get to that regional, we like that super regional thing for us. It'd be huge just after overcoming all our injuries and kind of our ups and downs. I think it'd be a really big feat for these guys to come out with a victory. All right, good luck this week, Coach. Thank you. Now joined by Maddie Shaw, first team all-conference selection. Maddie, congratulations. Well, thank you. Uh, your number one seed here at a 10s but in order to get to that number one seed, you knew you were going to have a big weekend at LaSalle. You probably needed the sweep, and, and you went out and did it. Uh, where's the team's confidence coming off such a big weekend? Yeah, so LaSalle was definitely a huge weekend for us. Uh, the past couple weeks, our bats were a little quieter than we're normal, uh, than we're used to. But coming off of LaSalle, I mean, we got an 11-0 win, a 12-1 win. So having our bats kind of get back on fire coming into this weekend is exactly what this uh, what the team needed. Now you're the number one seed. It's a big honor, but of course everyone's records is 0-0 at this point. Um, you know, you got you guys have a target on your back once again. Everyone's <laughs> going to come and, and you know try and knock you off. But you know, what is it like? You know, knowing you're that top seed and. Um, is there any extra pressure or do you just go out and you know and play like you're the number one seed? No, I think we certainly thrive off that number one seed, honestly. I mean, the, we've been here and done this uh, countless times. Bridget says it constantly that our experience during tournament play is what makes us so successful. So we're just back in that exact same uh, situation. We're playing at, at George Mason. We have already played here this, uh, this conference. Uh, game so I think that's a huge advantage for us. We've also seen every team minus La uh, not LaSalle, minus St. Louis. So uh, getting all that exposure prehand to the tournament is obviously these are all great advantage for and advantages for us. Uh, no, I think everyone's really excited to be here and ready to go. And you've had a big year, 69 RBIs, belting home runs out of the park. Just <laughs> Um, we're, two couple walk-off hits recently. Where, where is your confidence at the plate and uh, just, just your mentality going into these at-bats this weekend? Yeah, honestly, I mean, I, I wouldn't even have any of my success if it wasn't for my teammates. If my teammates aren't getting on, then I'm not able to produce RBIs for the team. So it definitely comes down to my teammates getting on for me. And after I see them get on, I see Sid get on, Jess get on, it give, that's what's given me the confidence to get up there and be like, okay, what do I have to do now to produce for this team at this moment? So, no, honestly, I wouldn't to have the success that I've been having this year without them. Uh, and I'm just going up there, confident in my teammates ahead of me, behind me, and just uh, knowing that I'm very confident in my abilities. I'm very capable of being able to uh, produce for the team. So that, that's my confidence. <laughs> and I, know it's, I know it's one win at a time, but what would it mean to you to raise that trophy up one more time at the end of the week? Oh, phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Can't have enough rings, you know what I mean? <laughs> Best of luck. Thank you. Here with co-pitcher of the year in the A-10, Lauren Quince. First of all, Lauren, congratulations on that honor. Thank you. 
Here you are at A10s, uh, coming off a big, big weekend at LaSalle. Big for the pitching, big for the hitting. Um, before we talk about this week, how important was was this last series to give you guys some confidence coming into this weekend? Um, definitely very important. Um, I know, you know, just our bats exploding was something we've been waiting for kind of all year. So I think just like, you know, putting up, I don't know, an insane amount of runs and, and our pitching staff being able to hold it down was, you know, it's a huge confidence booster going into the tournament. And here you are as the number one seed. You've been here before. It's not it's not new to you. Is there any added pressure being the number one seed, or, or do you guys kind of feed off of that? Um, well, we definitely feed off of it. I mean, I would say everyone on this team likes to play under pressure, so we like it. So the more the merrier. Like, <laughs> lay it on us. But, um, yeah, no, we, um, you know, we've been here. We know what we're doing, and, and we have one goal, and we're going after it. Now, you personally, 20 wins this season. Seems like you're really starting to peak at the right time. What is it when you when you've got the ball in your hands? Where's your confidence level right now out on the mound? Um, I mean, my confidence level as a pitcher, you got to be extremely confident. I mean, it's kind of annoying. I, like every other pitcher, you're like, oh my god, you're so cocky, but that's how you got to be, um, honestly, in the circle. But um, yeah, my confidence level is really high because my my teammates are making the plays behind me. Uh, we're hitting to back it up. Um, it's huge when you go up with like a five nothing lead in the third or something like that. So I think my confidence level is really laying, and my coaches, my teammates, and just you know. Anything that happens, I know we're gonna we're gonna come back, or or we're just gonna keep piling on. And I know it starts with just one game on Thursday, but can't help but look towards the end of that week. And what would it mean to you to, to be able to raise the trophy one more time and call yourself another A10 champion? Um, that would be awesome. That, that's definitely um, that would be awesome for for us. I mean, we're we're really excited. You know, we're taking it one one day at a time, so it's kind of hard to think about that quite yet. But um, would definitely mean mean the world to us seniors because. That's four for us. So, um, you know, that's one of our goals. Well, best of luck this week. Thank you so much.